Hello, this is a super quick how-to video on relationships. Whee! So, sorry, the relationships section of the character article is something that you can generate automatically. I've got an example here. I'm going to show you a little bit about how this is displaying on the front end and then how we can edit this, make this on the back end. So, first of all, uh, we've got two characters. Dr. George Moffat is the character this article is about. And then we have his wife, Constant Moffat. Constance Moffat. So I've described the spousal relationship, and then this is how they feel about each other. If you mouse over, you can see this is the actual relationship level. This is what they really feel about each other. And then this is what they say they feel about each other. A little bit about the history, a little bit about the nicknames. There are more options here. Let's take a look. So, ta-da! Actually, I'll go here. This is a character article. Uh, this is Laura Vimpson, which is why it looks like spaghetti. And I'm going to the relationship section. So you can see I've got the blood kin relationships up here. This is all for the family tree. And underneath there is the extended relationships. If you don't have anything here, you will have for sure add a character relationship. So you can click on that to spawn a new character relationship. Also show advanced options, show even more options. I'm going to uh, click that for now. So this is Dr. George Moffat. We're going to give him another character. Let's give him Dr. Nathaniel Moffat, that is his son. You can add the start and end of the relationship if you would like to, and also the family relationship. But he's a son, which doesn't appear here. So we're going to add that down here. Dr. George Moffat is the mm, father of the counterpart. The counterpart is the son of Dr. George Moffat. It could be friends, it could be enemies, it could be lovers. That's for you to decide, but that's what goes in there and that's what we'll display underneath. Uh, right here. You can also, oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, you can also describe how they actually feel about each other. So Dr. George Muffet doesn't think much of his son, but the son thinks that dad is great. And under advanced options, you'll see that uh, there's also the displayed opinion. So what people say they feel, as opposed to what they really feel with relationships, that's super important. Let's have a look. So let's say Dr. George Moffat uh, doesn't think much, but thinks even less, and he is truthful. Counterpart honesty, here it's really high, here it's not very high, let's say dishonest. And then underneath, how important is this relationship? It's important to the father, it is vital for the sun. You can add anything you would like in these boxes and you can see how it shows up. Uh, most important is the hidden and visible. So you can hide the whole relationship block if you want to. You can also, so only you can see it. You can also hide the actual relation. So you can only show what they say they feel about each other, not what they really feel about each other, if you would like to. Position and weight will determine how high or low, if you have a stack of relationships, this one appears. The higher the number, the higher it appears. So if you want this to go really, really high, 999, we're right at the top, and then the one you want lower, you can put 998, 997, or even one, it will show underneath. Pretty simple, right? We're gonna hit create relationship. And now you can see there are two relationships here. Let's go back to our character article and refresh. And you'll see Dr. George Moffat and his lady wife, Constance, Dr. George Moffat and his son. That's really all there is to relationships. They are simple to put together, really, really useful for remembering how people feel each about each other. And uh, yeah, great for showing to your audience as well. All right, guys, grab your hammer, go world build.